thought I'd come out to the garden and go and get some of my bait ready for uh, tomorrow's fishing. So tomorrow's fishing is at Chesil. So I'm just gonna get to my freezer, I'm gonna keep on with my bait and uh, get it out ready for tomorrow. So the wife says to me, you're always locking up our freezer with bait. So why don't you go and get a, a freezer for yourself, for your bait? I will do then. So there's my freezer. And look what's in the freezer. Uh, meat, an our meat, I should say. So yeah, so much for having my own bait freezer. It's full of meat and whatever that is. What is that? It's some Slimming World thing. Another Slimming World thing. And yeah, so anyway, there's my lug. A bit of carp. I'm gonna get that out, ready for defrosting. Also as well, I've got some uh, some frozen cod in there. Get that out. Get that out of the way. And try and find a box of squid. Sandal in there. There's all sorts of stuff in there. Let's get the squid. Let's open the door in. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's all falling out everywhere. Ah, jeez. Anyway. Get a box of squid out. He says. Get the squid. Get it out defrosted. I might take some sand here as well, actually. Take some sand here with me. Uh, yeah. Let's get it all back together. Get it all so there we go, there's my supposedly bait freezer for myself. This is a joke, the missus and the missus are taking that over. There we go. Anyway, back to some bait presentation a bit later on. Well, welcome back. So I just thought I'd show you um, how I prep for a uh, fishing trip um, off the chisel tomorrow. So um, I've got some squid, slightly defrosted it, not completely, but I'm gonna cut some strips off about so big, Size of your finger, something like that, ready for prep tomorrow. So, um, saves me doing it on the beach. Just gonna cut the head off, chuck that in the bag, which is there. And I'll put that on there like that. Um, get, I'm just gonna get rid of that, just chuck it away. Um, yeah, so there we go. So, just thin slivers, get rid of the backbone as well, you don't need that. So, that's going as well. And uh, yeah, there we go. Just prepping it all up in the bag. Slightly frozen still. It's, as you can see, it's quite stiff. Hopefully you can see that in the uh, video there. Still fairly stiff. I like to do it when it's partially frozen. It just seems to keep the bait a little bit fresher. And uh, then I can put it in the fridge and it maintains its color as well. It, as you know, or maybe some of you may know, is uh, it tends to go um, slightly browner as it defrosts and uh, falls out a little bit. So uh, yeah, so just gonna keep doing that, prepping the baits, head off, in the bag, straight down the middle, and pretty much just quartering it as you go through it, depending on how big the uh, Squid is. You can leave it like that if you want to. Just leave all the bits and pieces in there and I'll chuck it in there. It all adds up. But I generally just get rid of it, to be honest with you, when you're just doing thin slivers. So, so much time doing it this way than it does being out on the beach and doing it and getting freezing hands and and what have you. So yeah, that's it folks. Um, I've got some other squid as well to um, fill with cart. So I'll, I'll show you that in a bit and uh, what I do with squid and cart um, mix. See you in a bit. Well, welcome back. So uh, I'm gonna prep some squid and some crab cart uh, together. So this is how I'll do it. So squid, again, it's 
sort of partially sort of frozen a little bit. It's, it's a bit pliable now, but take off the head, get rid of that. I'm gonna put it in my bag behind me where I'll keep all my scraps. Just peel off this skin as well, so you've got nice white flesh. As best you can. Don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's up to you. But I do, just take it off. See the nice white flesh, it's definitely acts as a attractant, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, put that in the old uh, rubby dubby bag. And then just a matter of squeezing out the insides. You might need to get your, your finger in there as well, just hook it out as well. It's been a particularly bugger this one. Yeah, it's coming out, I think. Yeah, let's get my finger in there. There we go. Get it all out, best you can. Yeah, put that out the scrap in the old rubby dubby bag. So you now you're left with that. And uh, all I'll do is just open the tub. It's partially sort of, it was while it's frozen, it's just starting to fall. And all I've done is I just take a sliver off of a knife, like so, and then cut it again, like that. So you're left with two parts. And all I do is just put your finger in and shove it in the uh, in the hole. Oh, it's all very funny there, isn't it? Shoving it in the hole, and there we are. Nice and juicy crab cut in the middle with a nice um, squid outer. And uh, just going to quickly wash my hands. And then you can have a bit of elastic if you want to use elastic which i'll try and get the end of wherever it's gone there we go and then just wrap it wrap up the end to make it sealed keeps it in there bit around there there we go and there we are that's what you're left with i'll just put that car out of the way so there we go, one crab cart and squid wrap. So just got some clean film on the side here and I'll just wrap it up in clean film like so. So individually and then I'll put it in a bag and then freeze them. So I've started some already. It's free in there at the moment, um, and I shall put them back in the freezer, ready for uh, tomorrow's fishing. So again, nice bit of squid, just peel off the, uh, the skin, best you can. I say it's still a little bit frozen, this, so it could have done with probably a little bit more defrosting, but there we go. Just squeeze out the inners or we'll pull them out, whatever, whatever suits your be needs. There we go. I've torn it a little bit. There we go. Oh, nice and uh, hollow there. There we go. So again, bit of crab cart, stick it in the middle. It is all a bit messy this, but it's better to do it now. There we go, so it's all sealed up. I've got a sink full of water behind me just to wash the hands, just to make it a little bit easier. And uh, again, a bit of elastic on the end. Probably been better if I uh, had a dispenser, really, than just a cotton reel. And there we go. And what I'll do is uh, freeze that back up, as I said, and then um, 
when I'm ready to take out fish and put it on the line and I'll just prick the actual skin. So it allows the crab cart to ooze out as it defrosts in the sea and obviously gives you a nice scent trail as well. But I don't do the pricking until I've, I've got it on the uh, got it on the hook. Okay, so clean film, wrap it up. There we go, in the bag it goes. So I hope you um, enjoyed that. It gives you some sort of a way of uh, making up a nice squid and carp mix. And uh, yeah, gonna give it a go. Hopefully it's gonna produce a cod for me at Chisholm. And uh, yeah, tight lines everyone.